Welcome to a video where I showcase 5 things that you may or may not know. Some of these facts may be in plain sight to some, but for others, this may be the very first time that you hear about them. Let's get started. Starting off relatively small, did you know? In the base game, it is widely known that Chompida heals for 50 health upon a successful swallow, and it is also known that equipping the damage upgrade can increase how much he self heals. What you may not know however is that the flag of power also increases how much he self heals upon swallowing and by a sizable margin. In fact, the damage buff he gets is that strong that he can restore his entire health pool within only a single swallow. This can make Chompula extremely durable within this game mode, more so than the likes of either Chompthing or Armor Chomper by a huge margin. Have fun living forever within the flag of power, all because you consumed a poor brown coat who never wanted to get in your way. Secondly, did you also know? Whilst it is common knowledge that both Painter and Rock P have movement inheritance enabled on their primary weapons, according to a discovery by the Frostbite modding server, it turns out that they are not the only ones who have this strange feature enabled. The other characters that have this feature are Mystic Flower, Agent P, Law P, and the drake mech. Whilst this strange and unusual feature has been found on these variants, it likely wasn't noticed immediately due to these variants either having a much faster projectile, or in the drake mech's case, only having a trapezoid and not a projectile, hence why they weren't noticed immediately. Heading back to Garden Warfare 1, did you know? Thanks to a discovery by Noob Master Pro and Gabriel, in Garden Warfare 1, when you unlock a new zombie character and don't have all of the upgrades for their weapon, the weapon they hold in their hand has a completely different model. An example of this would be the scientist, where the default version has a part of the front missing that is only present once you have all the upgrades unlocked. Even more is that the icon used to represent their weapon is the upgraded version, likely because weapon skins are only obtained once all the upgrades are acquired so the player can do a comparison between the two. This is one of those scenarios where PopCap decided to pay close attention to detail and make weapons change when fully upgraded. Something that is not carried over into Garden Warfare 2, likely to save on resources. Up next, did you know? Thanks to a discovery by the Spectacular Pencil, in Garden Warfare 2, the pea shooter's ideal animation is of a relatively simple bobbing to the left and right whilst also going up and down. Fairly simple, and is something that is transferred across all of his variants. However, when it comes to Plasma P, if we have him face towards the right, we can see that one of the roots underneath his leaf feet do not animate properly in line with everything else. If we take a look at all the other pea shooters, we can see that their roots line up correctly with the animation. Why Plasma P has this error is not exactly clear, though once again, it is most likely yet another oversight on PopCap's behalf, which we should not be surprised at this point. Lastly, did you know? Thanks to another discovery by Noob Master Pro, in Garden Warfare 2, there are limitations to certain interactions when capturing objectives. For example, Chomper can capture points normally, though if he uses Burrow, he does not count towards capture progress until he surfaces. Same with Rose, she counts normally, but doesn't when she's using Enigma. These were likely put in place due to both of them being technically invincible whilst in these temporary states. However, in BFN, these exceptions were ruled out entirely, allowing Chomper to count for capture progress despite being in Burrow, and Rose despite being in Enigma. Despite these abilities still making them invincible, this time they are allowed to capture objectives. Why this was done is not exactly clear, though it could be because both of these plants have respective counters to take them out of their invincible states, with Engineer for the Chomper, and Wizard for the Rose. Though this is entirely up to speculation.